Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. With QuickBooks Online Payroll, you can give your employees time off and track it in QuickBooks. Let's learn how to set up time off in QuickBooks, how to account for it when you run payroll, how you can track how much time off employees have, and how employees can track their time off in QuickBooks Workforce. To start, select Payroll and Employees. You'll need to add your paid time off policy to each employee's profile. You can either do that while you set up a new employee, or you can add them to an existing employee. The section where you add time off is the same in either case. For this example, we'll show you how to do this for an existing employee. If you want to see how to add a new employee, there's a video at the end of this one to show you how. Select an employee and then go to the Pay Types section. Note that in QuickBooks, holiday pay is separate from time off. So, if you give all your employees a day off for Thanksgiving or Christmas, that's considered holiday pay. QuickBooks doesn't know which holidays you give your employees off, but as long as you've selected this checkbox, you'll see an option for holiday pay whenever you run payroll. QuickBooks tracks four types of time off, and you can have multiple policies for each. If you give employees a single balance of paid time off, which they use for any time they're sick, on vacation, or on leave, use the first option. If you give employees a separate balance for sick versus vacation pay, use the bottom options. Note that whatever you set up for this employee, you can apply later to other employees. And if you make changes to the policy later, it'll update all employees assigned to the policy. Select the drop-down for the option that applies to the employee, and then Add New Paid Time Off Policy. Enter a description for the policy. This is important, because it's what you'll see later when you set up other employees and select the policy that applies to them. The description also appears on their paychecks. Select how they accrue paid time off. Note that if you choose Anniversary Date, QuickBooks uses the employee's hire date as the anniversary date. Then enter the number of hours per year or hours worked. Add a maximum if you cap the amount of paid time off an employee can accrue. Select Save. Then enter the employee's current balance. Perform the same steps for any policy that applies. Unpaid time off is a separate balance that keeps track of time the employee can take off but won't receive pay for. You set it up the same way as paid time off. When you're finished, select Save. Whenever you set up or edit an existing employee, you'll see the same policies you set up earlier, or you can enter a new one, and then enter the employee's personal balance. You can adjust these policies whenever you like by selecting the employee and editing their pay types. Let's see what it looks like when an employee uses time off run payroll like normal. If you need help running payroll, there's a video at the end of this one to show you how. If you or an employee entered their time off on a timesheet, QuickBooks brings that time onto the paycheck. If not, you can still add it. If you want to see their time off balance as you run payroll, select here. Select Preview Payroll. And if everything looks right, Submit Payroll. If you pay employees with paychecks, or give them printed pay stubs, QuickBooks includes how many hours they have available. If an employee accrued time per hour worked or per paycheck, they'll see the time off they accrued with this paycheck. There are two ways to track how much time off an employee has. In QuickBooks, you can select Reports and search for Vacation and Sick Leave. This report lists all their time off balances. And, if you use QuickBooks Workforce, employees can log into their Workforce accounts to see their available time off hours. Now you're ready to set up, use, and monitor time off in QuickBooks Online.